Guys, we're back. Um, we're gonna put the Blu-ray drive in now. Let me get my chair. How to install a drive. It could be any drive. Mine, it's going to be a Blu-ray rider. But it could be a DVD rider, CD rider, whatever the case may be. So step one, you're going to use either a screwdriver or you're going to use your thumb screws. I got thumb screws in this case, but most of the time it's going to be a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to use your screwdriver and remove the two, two to six screws that hold your side panel on. Or if you got an older case, side panels. Slide it off. Set the side panel to the side. Okay. Next, you're going to locate the power and interface cables for your drive your old drive see that's the old drive you're going to unplug the interface cable mine is SATA in this case you're going to unplug your power cable once again mine is SATA okay once you've done that you're going to take your Phillips head screwdriver most of the time, mine's got this fancy little deal. I can just slide it out like that. But more than, more than, can't talk today. More than often, you're going to have four screws here. Two or four screws. And, it, and they could possibly be on both sides. So, and it's most often usually a Phillips. Or if you're working on the Hewlett Packard, it's going to be a Torx head. So... But anyways, you slide your old drive out. You set your old drive off to the side. You get the new drive right now. Drive. Pull the drive out. You always discharge yourself. I'm supposed to be wearing an ESD strap, but I'm not. Okay. I come with a set of cable screws, but I'm not going to need none of that. Take your drive and you slide it in. Slide it in, make sure you got it upside up. Usually you can tell by this deal here. In this instance, the label's on the bottom of this drive, which it doesn't happen very often, but you put it right side up because you don't want to put your drive in upside down. Make sure it goes flush. Most computers will automatically line up. My case is some semi warped. And lock it in and it ain't going nowhere. This is where most people would put their Phillips screws back in. Now you hook up your power cable and you hook up your SATA cable or your interface cable. drive installation is come physical drive installation is now complete you can reattach your side panel now and put your screws back in which is what I'm going to do now
mine's got these little handy dandy thumb screws. I can just turn and put them on. Don't have to undo no Phillips or anything. Now what you're going to do is hook your computer back up, power it on, log into Windows or your operating system, whatever you have, and you're going to... Windows will automatically install the driver, I believe. Yeah, should. Monitor USB. I got USB ports on my monitor, so I got a monitor USB cable. Uh, video. I use DVI. I got an HDMI, but for some reason my video card outputs default to the HDMI, and I don't want it to right at the moment. Anyways. Sound. Plug it into the green port. Mine's got six different colors. Mine just goes into the green one. Power. And this cable that I ripped down actually. Hold on, guys. Oh. That's my receiver for my mouse and keyboard. If it's not near the mouse and keyboard, it ain't gonna pick up. Power it on. Oh. I'm gonna set the switch. Wait for it to boot up. I'm going to have to turn the phone away from the screen for a moment. Now what it is, the reason I ordered this drive for is because the computer's hard drive that I just put that into is getting full. And I'm going to back up everything that I don't need or don't use very often anymore to these Blu-rays. So... Um, so that's pretty much it in a nut nutshell. I'll see y'all guys in a little bit.